Now today we're talking about annuals, biennials and perennials. Annual plants, such as sweet peas for example, um, they will typically be sown, they'll grow, they'll flower, reach maturity and all of that happens in one single season. So in the case of sweet peas, you'd perhaps sow them in around about January, February, they'd start flowering in May, they flower through the summer, they produce seed pods, you could collect some of those seed pods obviously later in the year, but they've reached maturity, that's the end of it. Biennials, now this is a little bit more complicated. These are plants where you would sow them one year, they grow and establish that first year, but they don't get mature enough to actually reach the point where they would produce flowers typically until the second year. They do that then, and then once they produce those flowers in the second year or the second growing season, they consider their job done and they come to an end. category are perennials. Now these are plants that you would plant one year but they'll be there for many years. So things like geraniums or eucarellas or eucaras, tiarellas, all of those lovely plants that are winter hardy that grow outdoors and they will come back year after year after year. That would be hardy perennials but there's a little curveball here because there's also tender perennials. Now things like Phalaenopsis orchids that you may have as a house plant, well they're also perennial, they just happen to be tender perennial. So whereas things like your herbaceous geraniums, well they're going to overwinter in all weathers, things like your tender perennials such as house plants would need to be kept frost free through the worst of the winter months.